What is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you flash the latest MIUI 12 Indian stable build on the Redmi K20 Pro with a custom recovery specifically with Orange Fox recovery. So here I have downloaded the file and this is the 12.0.1.0. The earlier build which was there is the 12.009. So there are two zeros over there. So this is the latest one 01.0 .01 and the earlier build was 12.009 again. So this is actually a latest build in case if you're confused. I was confused at the beginning. So yeah, that's why I explained that. And here the Android version is like Android Q of course and you can get the download link from the description box below. And here it is recommended to use this Sharp MIUI or LR TWRP some kind of. But instead of this I'm gonna use the Orange Fox recovery. So let me just show you. And right now I'm on Havoc OS as you can see this is the Havoc version 3.6. ROM is pretty good you can try it if you want to definitely. But let me just boot back to the recovery now. So here I'm going to use the latest R10.1 underscore 3 version of the Orange Fox recovery. This is the latest build of the Orange Fox recovery as of right now. So I'll recommend you guys using it. And of course, just like any other ROM, make sure you have a backup of your whole like internal storage to a PC or somewhere safe. I mean, where if, even if you lose your files from your phone, you have those files on your PC. So right now I'll just go to wipe, then select Dalvi cache system and data and let's select vendor vendor 2 so dalvi cache system data and vendor i selected five things and the wiping is done so as of right now let's go to the download folder here i have the rom file itself and then here i have the magisk file and of course after flashing this miui later down the line if you want to flash a custom rom you may have to format the storage again so be careful about that right now i'm not gonna format i'm just gonna see if it boots without formatting with a decrypted storage because my internal storage is right now decrypted, the recovery does not ask me for any password right now. So the wiping is done. So let's just select the ROM file. The RAW file in, in global 12.0.1 version, then add to queue, I'll select Magisk. I will deselect this reboot after installation is complete. So right now, let's just swipe to install. So looks like the ROM flashing is currently done almost, and it is gonna flash the Magisk file right now. And as you can see, Right now it is flashing the magic version 20.4. So yep, it's a successful. Right now we are good to go, I think. I'll just hit reboot system. Shows me this me logo and there is the powered by Android. And there is a small little icon of the unlocked bootloader here. All right, so it booted me back to the recovery. I don't know why. So looks like we may need to format the data. So right now what I'm gonna do, just go to menu manage partition and then select data and hit write then format data and type yes and i'll hit write so it says it's successful now let's just reboot the system and see if it boots now all right so finally we see the miui logo right here so that pretty much means that if you're coming from a custom rom with orange fox recovery if you flash miui 12 you need to format data once i think Gotta be honest, this MIUI 12 boot animation looks pretty good. Okay, so seems like we have this MIUI startup page over here. Connected to Wi-Fi, fine. So right now, let's just continue with the setup. So yeah, the voice over Wi-Fi should work fine here. Now I have to put my Gmail account and stuff. So yes, it is restoring my Google app data backup over here. I can feel the phone's like backside is getting pretty hot here. Just MIUI things. Phone gets hot even while setting up. Now let's just add the fingerprint. Well, the haptic feedback is pretty harsh while like setting up for the first time. I have to put it on light or something. But yeah, the fingerprint scanner setting up is fine. Let me see if it like gives me an option to add another finger here. Well, it still does not. So yeah, glance for MIUI. So this is I think the new wallpaper carousel or something. So I'll just disable that. Disable this, user experience program, location, everything I will disable from this page. Now let's just go with the classic theme because it has that Mars kind of live wallpaper. Okay, here we go. We are already in there to see the ads and stuff with some apps, with this git apps option. I'll just skip it of course. Setup complete and here let's just hit this next. So we are in the UI. So here we have the quick settings panel looks pretty dope again. Let's go into the settings first. 
let's go into about this is how it looks like and these animations should work fine okay so it just straight up went to the, that backup and restore and if you're noticing the storage here it is doing that animation works fine i guess and i can expand the volume panel just like this but i think this like volume panel thing used to appear a little bit below or am i assuming from the custom roms i don't remember so here let me go as you can see this is the miui 12.0.1 version the latest stable build on the redmi k20 pro and this is how you can flash it on your redmi k20 pro with the orange box recovery okay so inside this all specs it shows redmi k20 pro the ram and stuff then the cpu's clock speed then the android version is 10 of course as you can see let me go back and the security patch is of first june 2020 as you can see from here and there we have the miui version as stable build miui global 12.0.1 let's check the stock camera as we are in it already there is the new miui camera so that i am liking here this is the miui 12's new camera which was there in the china beta build and it is there in the indian build too so yeah i'm liking it we have the 48 megapixel mode and stuff here then inside video okay so we can shoot up to 4k 60 fps here so that is not a problem with the videos let me switch into the front camera and with this as you can see the front camera is working fine and it does this pretty cool animation just look at this over here you see that blue kind of thing over there looks pretty cool in my opinion but so by tapping over here a couple of times i just enabled the additional features so from here let's just reboot to recovery and see if you still have the orange box recovery or not i'm pretty sure it is going to be encrypted but yeah let's just check so as you can see the orange box recovery has been encrypted right now let me just enter the pin over here the lock screen pin which i set in miui but right now if you want to flash custom rom you have to format the data i guess again so do keep that in mind so you go to menu and manage partition select this data and format data by tapping right and over here and you type yes then you just reboot the recovery put some roms and stuff in the internal storage or with otg or something then flash the rom and reboot normally and use f clip disabler of course if you're flashing a custom rom so let's just check out the fingerprint scanner speed over here quickly i'll just double tap over here to lock the device the animations looks amazing of course and as you can see it unlocked let me do it again unlocked pretty fast fingerprint scanner here so thank you so much for watching this video guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video with your friends if you feel it's helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tiro from KD and Dick signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye, -bye now